cabin fever crochet. I'm Helene. So happy to be back. It has been a while, over a month. I have missed you all so much. I've been recovering from a pneumonia since the end of November. It has been a long haul. It's just in the last two and a half, three weeks that I've really started to feel better, getting my energy back. And yeah, I've been on. I have done some Oh, a tutorial and a couple other little things, but I decided I need to take a break, focus on my health, get back to where I was because I was starting to wonder there for a little bit. Anyway, here I am. It's a new day, and as you can see, we have snow. So I'm going to be starting from current with the yarn that I want to show you. And then I'm going to work back catching up with content I want to bring to you. I have a, um, a tutorial that I was going to do a couple of weeks ago and I just, I just didn't have it in me. So I'll be doing that soon. And then one with the new yarn that I got. <gasps> yes. Uh Oh, shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Yeah, I blew my yarn diet because I, I really been on kind of a self-imposed yarn ban because I have a lot and I just I beautiful yarn I want I want to use and I need to work through my stash. So that has really been my goal with an occasional exception for something that's really special. I really want to try or I really want to test it out, bring it to you and show you. So that way, then it gives you an idea, at least you know, my take on it, and it might help you with your purchasing decisions. Okay, so I have been, had been to Michael's, I think yesterday was my third time in probably about the last month or so, and I saw these coconut cakes. They have these strands of yarn just little bits and pieces. That's a whole swatch I'll tell you about. We have these little short strands of yarn. I'm trying to get a good snapshot of that here. Little short strands of yarn that are sticking out. Okay, and they are part of the strand itself, so it's nothing that is going to pick off like some tweed type yarn can, okay? Um, and now I also have other yarns I'm going to show you, some that are new, new in the store, uh, maybe yarns they've had for a little while, but new and gorgeous colors, and some that are just like new, new. And the one of the gals that works in the yarn department was there, and, and she let me know which ones are limited edition, and this being one of them. And I popped in, they had them, they had them on sale. I had a $5 rewards coupon burning a hole in my pocket. And then when it's their regular sale, not a coupon sale, I get an additional senior discount of 15% off. The regular price are $12.99 each now. So that would have been $26 plus tax. So out the door with tax and everything, it came to $11.79 for the two. And eight ounces, 227 grams, 481 yards total. So that's a lot of yardage. I broke it down. And it winds up being, per your average, three and a half ounce, 100 gram ball or cake, about 210 yards. So that is a very light number four. All right, it calls for an H five millimeter hook. I tested it out in an I 5.5 millimeter hook. And I'll show you the swatch in a minute. And for me, that was, that was pretty good. Um, I think if you go down too much, these little flecks are gonna get smushed down into the yarn. Oh yeah, look, yeah, they're showing up really pretty well there. But let's just finish going back over the yarn. Okay, this is 78% cotton, 28% polyester. So when I ran my hand over it like that, you know, I could feel that, that textural feel. But then, I'm just testing out in the store, and I'm taking my two fingers and I'm running it down just one strand, I thought, well, you know, that feels actually pretty soft. 
and kind of squishy. So I thought I am going to give it a shot. Couldn't beat the price. Farmer's Market is coming up. Makes it more affordable to have some offerings for people that don't break the bank for them either. But I actually think this would make great bag, a summer tote bag, a beach bag. And I got the two colors because I'm going to pull this lemon lime color, which is pretty strong. It's looking a little green right now, but it's definitely on the lemon side. And, and then I'm going to pipe some of that in and then border it with this. Okay, so that's my plan. All right, and so even though it is a light number four, technically with the amount of yardage, as I suspected, because of these little pieces sticking out of the yarn, as I crochet, they work into the yarn, so it does work up a little bit thicker. So you kind of get a little more bang for your buck with that. You get a lot of yardage, but it's not super skinny, so that's it's not going to take forever for your project to work up, and it's going to have some substance to it. So the main deterrent, aside from you know, wanting to bust through my stash, and it's made in China, and typically I am staying away from yarn that is and supporting other companies as much as I can, either independent companies or uh, even like Michael's where a lot of their yarn is made in Turkey, that's fine. But I'm just being more uh, mindful of that. And without getting into the whole thing, that is just my personal preference. Yeah. Everybody has different tastes. Um, you may not like this yarn at all. I think it is rather interesting and it's fun and it's funky. And um, oh, before I show you the swatch, I do not recommend using the center pool, even though it's really easy to find, which I appreciated. I was concerned about this because of those little uh, strands that I'm gonna call them loose strands because they are sticking up, even though they're attached to the yarn itself. Uh, that it does get hung up a little bit pulling it out. It's not too bad, you just have to be careful. And once that big blob just now, just now popped up a little bit, it's actually feeding easier. And I used a metal hook, the Furl's new metal streamline, and if you have not seen these, if you're curious, have not seen my video on them, on um, my review, I will leave the link for that below, okay? But I don't know how well I didn't test it with a resin hook, but I just thought because this is not real tightly spun, it's a little on the looser side, and because of these little loose strands, Metal's probably going to be the best, and it really did glide through the hook quite well. And as I figured that uh, because of all this going on, and because this is a rather busy yarn, it does not have real good stitch definition, and that's fine for me because my plan of what I'm going to make is a garment accessory, and I'm going to choose a really simple stitch, which I think at least, I, I don't know, maybe you can do a little more detailed type of stitch in the solid or they're more like a semi-tonal solid because uh, like a marl because it does have the creamy white in there as well. I don't know how well it's showing up now in this lighting but you can definitely see it in the multicolored here. But um, also I want to have a more just really beginner friendly project on this too. And I did stop and start restart again and I pulled it out and it came out really, really easily. And working it up, it's pretty soft on the skin. I mean, it's not like a soft, um, puddly kind of uh, acrylic or silk or viscose or bamboo type of soft. It's not silky soft, I guess you could say, but I think it would be just fine against the skin. And this might just make a cute little summer top too. I just 
thought that those little pieces are so interesting, but they do mm, kind of work into the yarn a fair amount. I don't know. Kind of, kind of hard to see them sticking up, but somewhat, I think, enough to just add some interest without it looking like an actual rag. And these, speaking of rags, they probably would make nice dishcloths, but I do, I do think a summer bag would be great, you know, tote bag, um, market bag, beach bag. But I would definitely recommend going down to the H. Try the five millimeter hook, H hook for that. So that way you get a tighter weave, which is gonna add more strength and structure. And what's nice is a little bit of polyester in there will help keep the uh, shape retention for that too. So this is just a really weird little swatch. <laughs> My um, stitch count is not correct or even on it. <laughs> As you can see, it's got this little hump on the center. But it was just to give you an idea of it anyway. So there you go. The three times that I've been in there, there's hardly any off the shelf. It was still pretty much full when I went in yesterday. So for some reason, people are not buying it. Maybe now that it's on sale, they might. But um, talking with the person in that department, she said that yeah, it's probably not going to come back. You know how they'll say limited edition on some and they'll test them out. And then like the Michael's Flex yarn, if you're familiar with that, that was so popular, it came back and it's been back every year since and they brought out even more new colors. And I enjoy working with that yarn too. Um, so you can see that it's not like super defined stitch definition. So like, like I said, for that reason, I would go with the very basic, excuse me, stitch. Uh, but I think it's cute and it's fun and I'm going to have fun playing with that. And then now I'm going to go over the other yarn that was in the store. Okie doke, I'm going to start with Caron Coconut Cake since they were first up anyway. And that was all the colors at a glance. And now we're going to go close in so you can see them all and how they have different ones that can work back to each other and, and pull some of those colors just like I did with these too. And that was part of my problem in making a decision was which color or colors or combination I wanted to get because I think they are really all beautiful. You can have a lot of fun with these with the right project. The lighting is really good here too so you get to see what's what. My Michaels is great at organizing and displaying their yarn and different color families from light to dark, neutrals, mid-tones, brights, and with the solids or semi-solids next to them so you can mix and match and coordinate or use contrasting yarns. And there you can see even in the more neutral coconut color, uh, this has that still tonal marled effect to it with that cream mixed in with it. And that color was marshmallow. This is blueberry sorbet. And at the bottom, there's a really pretty brown combo, black and cream, and then gray and cream. All of these colors are just so lively and happy, summery. So many possibilities with the different color combinations. You can really play and have a lot of fun. This blue-green combo I got is Hawaiian Punch, and the yellow is Lemon Lime. I had to really hold myself back from getting that turquoise. Even some of these more unexpected pairings that I put next to each other could really work well together. This is Ombre Hues, another limited edition, and I would love to know if anyone has worked with it, what was your experience and take on it. For me, at first glance, very soft, light and airy, nice chainette construction. It's a number three light, really beautiful colorways. You get a lot for the money. 
426 yards over 5 ounces. It was on sale for $5.99. It is 75% polyester, 25% acrylic. It quickly turned into one of those meh moments after talking with someone there who has used it and said even though it's a type of yarn that can catch on itself, that wasn't the real issue. The deal breaker happened when she started sewing in her ends and the whole length of the ends started completely coming up part in her hands. I'm picturing kind of like how cotton candy pulls apart. Michaels is bringing in more loops and threads now because it's replacing most other yarn brands. I have an example to show you in a few minutes, but first to say they still have and are carrying plenty of Lion Brand Heartland. Yay! This one, the Carousel yarn, I really, really like it a lot, and it is going to be a regular one that stays. Some new colors here, I believe. And this is a number five bulky and 213 yards, 5.3 ounces. So that's a fair amount. It's not a super bulky. It's really nice. And you can see when I was squishing it, it is very squishy and bouncy and has a, a spongy kind of feel, but in a really good way. Beautiful colors, I can't get over as this nice selection. Whoever's the buyer for Michaels has done really well this time around. So many pretty different combinations again, and here we have, they can work back to each other, even there with the blues, some that are a little bit more unexpected. And, and again, again, how they are displayed. This would make awesome blanket yarn, baby blanket, grown-up blanket, so many different projects. Did I say 100% acrylic? And it is also made in Turkey. This one is just in. It's called Bulky Twist. And it's another number five. And although this one is 50-50 cotton acrylic and a beautiful array of neutrals and all sorts of fun and pretty colors, gorgeous blues. And again, you can see how they're displayed where you can mix and match and coordinate and contrast. It's interesting though. Um, okay, you see regular price, $6.99. It's 130 yards, but only 2.9 ounces. That's still a decent amount of yarn, though. You know, 130 yards for 2.9 ounces. It's a bulky number five. So I think it's right in there. It has a really nice feel. It's very similar to the one I just showed you. But you can see, look to the left, and you, there we go. Uh, you can see how loosely wound it is. And this one again is made in Turkey. So even though they came out with the bulky going into spring, summer, um, one of their shipments was lost. I think they're finally just getting them in. So even uh, during the warmer months, you could make a really pretty kitchen rug, uh, decor, accessories, bathroom rug. And really having a 50% cotton yarn and a bulky weight would be great for more moderate climates in fall and winter. And this one over here, wow, stunning, stunning. This is 100% rayon from bamboo. And it's called Silky Soft. It reminds me of the Lion Brand True Brew. True Boo, which is no longer being sold at Michael's now. 240 yards, 3.5 ounces, sells for $6.99. And this has an absolutely lovely, lovely feel to it. You can see gorgeous colors. And what the True Boo did not have are these kind of self striping, semi variegated. So, again, you've got lots to mix and match and play with. Stunning, saturated colors. Just that really cool, silky touch. Oh, look at that, that center one, how it goes, works back to this. Such a saturated uh, blue green. And Oh, I didn't catch where this one was made. I know oftentimes well, bamboo does come from China because it's where it grows a lot there. And some things just can't be helped. But it's it looks really nice quality. And they have just done so well. I'm really excited about these new yarns. 
I'd love to know. I mean, you can see, you can see how this is picked over. So this one's real popular. I could totally see that in a shawl. Oh, wait a minute. Back up. Where does it say made in China? Yep. I suspected that, but it is very nice, beautiful, seems of good quality, and is one I would consider making an exception for. And here's a close-up shot. So if you've used the Lion Brand True Boo, you can kind of compare to how it is wound. This one is not too tight, not too loose. Hard to say if it would be splitty working with it since I haven't used it. Now this one right around the corner, it is not a new yarn. I haven't noticed it before. Why? I have no idea. It is so pretty. Delicate DK acrylic blend. And wow, 315 yards. Four ounces. Number three light 70 acrylic 30 polyamide made in Turkey. And it has a nice little twist on that that I think could give a little bit more stitch definition and some some texture to that really pretty colors love that sunflower yellow and again solids and self striping it can work back to each other mix and match just play to your heart's content have so much fun it's very very pretty the color changes are short on this it is so soft and it has a sheen to it but not a super high sheen uh, just because it has a silky feel to it seven dollars and 99 cents so maybe one of those you might want to try to pick up when they have a sale good coupon but lots so many great colors and that's what is new is all these new colors coming in for the spring and even though it's in the baby section i think think some of these could be used for anyone this would make a gorgeous shawl or a pretty little top going into the spring summer a scarf a really lightweight summer blanket oh oh wait wait but wait there's more uh there's a delicate decay again and a pretty marled tonal color and to the right is the flex yarn i had mentioned earlier what's kind of like a tweed but it's part of the strands themselves and their tonal and they did get some new fresh colors in for spring Last up, the new colors in the impression yarn caught my eye, whipped me around as I was heading out. Now impressions, um, loops and threads, Michaels has had that for a little while now, formerly Barcelona yarn, and it is the same yarn as Premier Puzzle. They have some of the same colors and what were the discontinued colors of Premier, and then now they're getting more of their own, which is great. It's listed as a bulky number five. To me, it's more of a chunky to light bulky at 328 yards. It is a large skein though, and looks like the current price is $8.99. I enjoy working with this. In fact, I have a shawl in a mix of this yarn, and it is my Knot K-N-O-T, Not So Granny, and I will leave that link below too. All right, well, that's my story for today, my fiber friends, and I am sticking to it. I hope you will come back again and see me next time. Until then, take good care and happy crafting.